paper. And I'm sure that a um, bunch of the students that are in class have probably already finished this or gotten close. And I'm just going to go over here and make sure that I'm happy with my colors. So if you're still coloring in your stripes or if you're at home, that's totally fine. You can pause the video if you're at home um, so that you can finish up coloring your stripes in. And um, now that I'm basically done with mine, I'm going to show you what you need to do because um, we have we still have another thing to glue. And what we're doing is basically having doing parts of this in different stages so that it gives the glue the time to dry. So I'm going to fold my stripey paper all the way back up again. Mm, one of my folds definitely got away from me over there. So definitely is not perfect. Please be okay with not being perfect. These are still going to look great. I'm going to fold all my stuff back up because my paper should be in good shape. But I still need to make one more place to glue. And what that is, is I want to connect these now. I want to connect the two ends in a circle. And when I do that, I just want to make sure that they're going to fit together with the red on the outside. So when I turn it, I can see that I, my red is on the outside. It's not on the inside. That's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and fit this. I can put this right over the top, just like I did my other ones. And um, so I am lucky here. I've got white on white. If you are coloring a red, well, I mean, if you're putting glue on a red, like I actually probably will put some glue on that one. Let's put a lot of glue on it. So this is what it's going to look like when I glue it. But I need to put it down on the table to do that glue. Now, in order to do that, let's do one side at a time. We've got to pay attention to what we've got to glue together. I'm going to, you might only have one piece, but I'm going to have two. I want these two sides to be glued to the inside of these two sides. So i got to remember that before I put this together. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. And this time around, I'm not going to worry about my folds being squished back together. So I'm not going to worry about flattening them out. I want to make sure that I'm happy with that before I do this gluing part. So I've, I'm putting on a pretty good amount of glue, and I know I want both of my pieces. Maybe you only need one. But you want to go ahead and get it to where it's a good amount of glue. And it's going to stick here. Okay. This is a difficult thing to do because you don't want to put it on the desk and flatten it. I'm just sort of holding it in my fingers. All right? And I want to really smooth that down. So a good amount of glue on both of those pieces. Here they are together underneath. And they're not a perfect match, but they're close. I can sort of flatten it a little, but I don't want to try to squish it on the desk. So I want to make sure that those two pieces are really put together well with a good amount of glue and that they've got a good amount of contact where both sides are, both pieces of paper are touching glue, both the top piece and the bottom piece. And we are dealing with the rosette. You want to be totally done with your coloring before you glue it together. So don't try to skip on ahead on this and then say, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and do it later. The, we want to be done, and then what we want to do is sort of push the pieces into the center. Now, it's, that might look really hard, but we made this a pretty big rosette. It should fit in there pretty well. So let me try again from another angle so that you can see. So I'm just sort of squishing these together and letting, pushing it down from the center on out. Okay. And um, let's try one more time just so that you can see because it's... it's um, it might be kind of weird to do it the first couple of times, but I know that this will hold together because I put a lot of glue on that last piece and I was checking my other paper papers while I was making my stripes. So um, if they don't want to stick together and you have some tape, um, you can always tape it on the underside and try again. So you're looking for this and if it starts to come loose, um, you can use glue to put it back together so that you've got this shape. But then once you've made the rosette part and made it flower out, if it comes loose, try some tape on the bottom of it. So I'm just taking these, I'll just take, I'll just take a couple here. Maybe I'll grab this one and this one. And I'm just going to push on down with my fingers. 
and it fans out. So um, when you're dealing with a fan that you would pick up and hold, you need to have something that would hold this together. And we don't really have that, but we're going to put our blue star, our, our blue circle with our star on top. So um, this is another situation where you need a good amount of glue because if you're holding on to this, you can actually try this out. You sh your star should be on here pretty well. If you push a little bit, you can feel the bumps of your folds underneath. That's what it's going to grip onto. So once we're done with this, we can't really just sort of, uh, you know, throw it around and be rough with it. We've got to be gentle because that glue could come loose. So um, that's okay, um, but it's still going to be better to try to do this with a glue stick than tape. So we all love to run for the tape. Everybody loves tape. That's okay, but let's try it with the glue stick first. Uh, you should be okay to get it to stick onto the top. I'm going to go ahead and flip over my star. And same thing, lots and lots and lots and lots of glue. I, wanna, I don't need to mash it. I just need to put a lot on here. So I want to try to get my entire circle, and I can see a little sheen there, a little bit of uh, where the light is shining on it, and you can see that glue. So while you're working, um, you don't need to push hard. You just need to make sure that you're getting a lot of glue on your circle. And I'm going to end up with a little bit of glue on my fingers here because I'm turning my paper. And if you did touch your glue, you know it's pretty sticky. So this should hold on pretty well to the top of your rosette. So rosettes can be all kinds of colors. You can put all kinds of neat drawings on them. Um, people have done it like with, even with big photographs. So if you have a printer and you want to print out big photographs of something that's fun, you could do that. So I'm just going to hold on for just a second because sometimes it'll help the glue to grip if you just don't if you just wait for just a second. And then I'm going to push very gently on my rosette where I can feel those folds. 